Hi everyone, it's great to see you this afternoon. What do I want to talk about today? This! <laughs> I have curly hair, I have gray hair, which really does affect the texture of the hair as well. My hair gets really frizzy when it's humid out, like this. I make my own shampoo, I make my own conditioner. You may be looking at me and going, you need to do a better job. But this is because of Texas weather. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. But I have a fix for this. I just didn't put my fix in today because I wanted you to see a before and after for whatever that's worth. I'm going to make my own leave-in conditioner, which I've been making for most of my adult life. My mother made it for me as a kid, uh, and it's been modified. I have actually learned more about ingredients uh, that work better for me in my adult life that I use. Um, and I'm not the first, but I've got certainly my own twist on it. So I hope you'll stick around, see if we can put a little control into this mop, and um, I really appreciate you being here. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do uh, hit the bell uh, so you get notifications of new videos. And uh, stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a great surprise for you all. Thanks so much. All right. So. I do this a little differently than others I've seen on YouTube do it. First of all, this is something that I learned a long, long time ago. By the way, <laughs> flaxseed has been used for hair care for, at least from the information I could find, for about 30, 40 years. So I'm not the first and nobody on YouTube is probably the first. Unless the original person is there. But anyway, that, that being said, the one thing that I do differently, and this is what my mother did too, was to soak the flax seeds in water overnight, like just at room temperature, and it kind of starts a little bit of fermentation. And I've just added these to the water, just, I mean, to the heat just a few minutes ago. Um, but the, it had already begun to gel in the jar. But what we're going to do is cook these um, until the this water has turned into a sticky jelly-like substance. And that will be the base of this hair tonic that I'm making. But there are certainly some other ingredients. There will be a little bit of argan oil, a little bit of vitamin E, and some other wonderful ingredients. But anyway, I'm going to cover this and let this heat. And we'll come back and check on it in a few minutes. So I'm narrating here because I had to turn the fan on overhead over the stovetop, and it's a little noisy. Here I'm adding in my one of my secret ingredients, which is black rice. Now, why would I add black rice? Well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it adds color to the gel. And for gray hair, this creates sort of a purplish blue color. And you've probably heard of using bluing in hair before. Well, this is a bit more natural and certainly an easier way to add it to your hair products. Um, and you'll see that this adds just a very mild colorant. Now, this won't actually color your hair, but it does prevent it from yellowing. It just brightens the white a bit. Uh, that's what I find with my own hair. And also, the reason I like using the rice is that it's very calming to the scalp. Um, so many hair products that you buy, especially leave-in products, have silicones and alcohol and all sorts of things in them that are very irritating, at least to my own scalp. And when using simple products like this, flax and rice, uh, it's very calm, very easy on the scalp. None of that itching and scratching that I get from a lot of other products on the market. So that's why I add it. My mother used white rice, but I like the dark rice. So I've now taken this off the heat, and you can see it's nice and thick and gelatinous now. 
which is just the way we want it. So I'm going to let this cool just a bit here. I've got it sitting on a trivet here. I've got my cheesecloth and my jar ready here once it cools. And uh, we'll strain it and get it ready to actually use. Because I want to take a shower and show you all the goodness. <laughs> Wait, that didn't come out quite right. I meant the goodness of the product. Okay, thanks everyone. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to actually do this in a bowl. I thought it would be easier for you to see. Um, and this is still hot, but I'm just pouring it in here to gather it up. Makes it easier to put into the jar. So now it's a matter of just gathering up the corners and letting the goodness happen, which is squeezing out the gel. But because this is so hot, I'm going to let it sit for just a moment. But you can see it's already starting a bit there on its own. Matter of fact, let me go get my gloves. And we'll go ahead and do it now with it hot. It's easier to, it flows easier when it's hot. Okay. I know it's not pretty at this stage. But it's wonderful stuff. Now, again, because I'm using uh, black rice, this is tinted. You may want yours clear. And if so, I would use white rice. Of course, you don't have to use rice at all. I like it, but it's not for everybody. The flaxseed alone will work as a great leave-in moisturizer for your hair. It seals the hair, it attracts moisture, but I have some uh, secret added ingredients that I'll tell you about at the end. So the last part of this is to add in my vitamin E, my argan oil, and I have added in 12 drops of peppermint essential oil as well. And I'm going to use my stick blender to just mix up these ingredients all together. This is not the jar this is going to stay in. I just makes it easier to work with until I'm ready to bottle it up for use. So there it is. I've got it in a container, about six ounces of it, in my little eight ounce container there. And the next step is actually to use it. So I'm out of the shower. Uh, my hair's still damp. I towel, just dotted it with the towel, just to kind of you know get some of the excess water off. And I have my secret formula here. Oh, and I said I'd tell you what the other ingredient in it was. So give me just a moment to spoon out a bit here. And let me show you how, first of all, I do this. So I just use a small spoon and just get out a small glop there. Like that. <laughs> all right. Guess I don't need my reading glasses for this. Okay. So anyway. I just get a glop of it like so. Rub it between my hands and into the hair it goes. Oh, 
I love the smell of the peppermint. <laughs> and I know the lighting in here may not be very good. This is the bathroom, and I've never filmed other than the uh, lather test where I had it pointed out at the sink. I've not had it pointed at myself. So basically all I'm doing is just rubbing it throughout my hair. It doesn't take very much. I don't know if you could see that, but it was like a teaspoon. Now, one thing I did do, a couple little rice particles there. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, it overflowed a little, so a couple got in there. It's not that big a deal. So that's it. And I just let it dry. I don't do anything else to it. So we'll come back when it's dry. So it's dry. That's it. But you see it's much calmer. It's not as poofed out. And that's the flax seed. <laughs> Pretty fantastic, huh?